How is it going everybody? This is RVT coming at you with the Sun Bowl recap video and UCLA completely dominates Virginia Tech and this one wins 42 to 12 and it was pretty much complete domination from start to finish. You got you got to you got to uh consider that Logan Thomas did get hurt in this game. And Marcus Leal came in and uh just didn't look too great and over Virginia Tech's Virginia Tech fans were kind of excited to see him. But then I don't think they're too excited anymore for the future because he didn't look that great, uh, to say the least. He ended up uh, 12-25, 130 yards and two picks. And Logan Thomas was playing bad at the time, too. Uh, 3 of 11, 46 yards, didn't throw a touchdown or a pick. But he did have that long run, though. That was pretty awesome. It's probably a sports center top 10 play. But, of course, the story of this game is Brett Hundley played absolutely magnificent. He was 16-27, 226 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. 161 yards on the ground. In 10 carries, just 10 carries at 16.1 yards per carry and two touchdowns. That's that's insane. The guy's an absolute playmaker and he played magnificent today. And I did not expect it because Virginia Tech has, I thought, a really really good defense. I still think they do, but they just weren't prepared for Brett Hundley and his and his skill set today. And he came out and really showed him what he's what he's worth. <laughs> Um, and also, they were horrible penalty-wise. Virginia Tech was getting called for penalties left and right. They ended up with 13 penalties for 109 yards. That was that was bad. <clears throat> but uh, I mean, this game in the first half, pretty much, it was it was pretty close. But then in the third, fourth quarter, of this game just was out of hand, left and right. Uh, Brett Hundley was getting yards. Miles Jack brought a pick back for a touchdown. Um, just big plays everywhere, and and uh, that fourth quarter was ridiculous. I think they ended up scoring three, two or uh, three or four touchdowns. Four touchdowns. They scored 28 points in the fourth quarter. So without the fourth quarter, it ends up being a 14 to 12 game. So uh, I think UCLA fans are pretty happy for that fourth quarter. But it was just like that. And whenever, um, whenever that pick six was brought back by Miles Jack, that pretty much was the end of it. Did Miles Jack, Miles Jack play any running back today? He only had one carry. Okay. Um, didn't really need to run the football with the running backs. So Brent Hundley was having a magnificent game. But, yeah, uh, Virginia Tech just wasn't ready for it. I know some Virginia Tech fans want Frank Beamer out. Kind of understandable, but I think they'll be back. I mean, like I said, yes, understandable, but they... It's it's still a solid program. It's not like they're going having horrible seasons. They ended up eight and five this year, and I think that's still a solid year. Even though I think prior to last season they had been on an eight year streak of winning ten games or more. So yeah, it's kind of at a low point right now for the past decade or so. But I think they'll get back once they get a solid quarterback, a solid running game. That's something they've been missing. They've not had a solid running game this season. Uh, they had the solid defense, but just not a solid running game. When they can find that solid running game, they'll be competitive once again in the ACC. I mean, I think as long as they have Bud Foster, they're going to have a solid defense, but they just need to find something on offense. So that's been the problem. They've been really anemic on offense this year, so they just need to find some consistent consistency in that offense. I mean, they only ended up, their leading rush was Logan Thomas. And uh, when your quarterback who won't carry the ball three times was your leading rusher, that's not normally a good thing. But official stats on the game, Virginia Tech, I forgot to mention, was horrible, horrible on third downs. Ended up 3 of 17 on third downs. And UCLA didn't do too well on third downs either. There was 4 of 12, but fourth quarter pretty much erased all that. The, the opportunities they were given, the big plays, that pretty much, like I said, uh, erased that. But total yardage was in favor of UCLA, 452 to 319. Uh, 197 rushing yards for UCLA, 143 for Virginia Tech, and like I said, 161 of those, 197 came from Brett Huntley. <clears throat> and like I said, the penalties were horrible too. 100, uh, 13 penalties for 109 yards for Virginia Tech, and 8 for 75 for UCLA. So both teams really weren't great penalty-wise, but uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you're a fan of either either of these teams, let me know what you think this game means for your program moving forward. Let me know what you thought about the game in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more bowl game coverage. It's going to be coming at you with recaps of each and every bowl game this bowl season. Be sure to uh, be sure to big hit the like button if you haven't already. And follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash srtr. So that's it, guys. Hope you have a happy and safe new year. And as always, roll tie, go socks, and go Titans to you. Be safe tonight. Catch you guys later. Peace.